Ohio State taking one of one away from number 16, Florida Atlantic. Back here at Bill Davis Stadium, David Austin joined by David Ellison. Ohio State improving their record to 32-16-1. The Owls fall to 33-14. Mark Nowotnik in his first start picks up the loss. His record falls to 1-1. One one. Dalton Mossbarger dealing on the bump for Ohio State. He'll improve his record to 2-0. Oh. He struck out five batters on the day. Yeah, Mossbarger doing a dominant job from the mound, shutting down the Owls for his four innings pitch. And for Ohio State, it was rolling throughout this game in the field and at the plate. As you see, a runner gets on for the Owls in a close call, but Mossbarger regaining the edge at the mound with some help from Ronnie Dawson out in left field robbing the home run and preventing any damage from being done there as he makes an incredible leaping grab for the play of the night and for Ohio State improving to 19-4 at home 13-1 in their non-conference schedule at home as Mossbarger as you mentioned picking up five strikeouts really leading things off for Ohio State defensively. Offensively, Nick Swagakis got things going in the third, lighting it up with a grand slam to open things up. And the scoring did not stop as Troy Kuhn picks up his first home run of the year, a two run shot as well. And as he drives it out of play out in left center and Joey, uh, Jacob Bosiokovic picking up his 11th home run on a two-run shot as well. And a 10-2 and two record for Ohio State when they hit multiple home runs in a game. Ohio State held Florida Atlantic only the ninth time this year without at least eight hits. Florida Atlantic scoring two runs. In the top of the fourth inning on seven hits, they left eight runners on base. Ohio State... 10 runs on 10 hits, one error in the field. Four runners left on base for the Buckeyes. As you see, Bosiokovic go opposite field there for extra measure. So for everybody on Production Row and David Ellison, I'm Davey Austin saying so long from Columbus, Ohio.